Well, Tim, uh, you told me that uh, making these adjustments uh, on this door, you needed some simple tools, and it doesn't look like it gets much, much more simple than, than a hex head and a couple of open-end wrenches. There. Nope. For this one, we just need a uh, 332nd Allen wrench, a 316 Allen wrench, and uh, two half-inch box wrenches, and it should be all you need. Great. So first thing we want to do, we mentioned the inspection plate before, we're going to take that off, access the turnbuckle to adjust the tension on the chain. You look like you've done this a time or two. Yeah. All the... Uh, all the, sale, all the staff at Freeman, about anybody can do this, and everybody needs to go out and do it from time to time, and it's good to have an idea of what we're putting these on also. Great. Okay, so inside we have a, we have a, basically a lock, just came up with that, that's to uh, keep the turnbuckle from coming loose. Gotcha. So what we need to do is uh, we're going to slide that down. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, get the chain to the proper tension. I see that you're using the same tool that you used uh, to get inside here. Huh? Yep, this just happens to be a uh, 3 16 okay. the other one's a 3 32nd. So we'll just loosen that screw, slide it down, okay. and then we'll just take our half inch wrenches. You go the opposite way with those and undo that, right? Correct. Correct. So then we just need to uh, feel it tighten up. Just turn that right by hand. What you want to have is about an eighth inch either direction of tension on the chain. When we first got into it, it was quite loose. Right. There was a lot of wiggle back and forth there. And that causes that wiggle to, to be even more on, on the front part of the door, Correct. right? That's why we had that slop on the front part of the door. Correct. And so we're going to come in here and we're going to take that slop out by making these adjustments right here. Correct. And it's uh, it's as simple as that. So you want to have about an eighth inch either direction. Okay. Got gotcha. slack in there. Okay. And uh, that's about it. And then uh, just tighten, tighten things up. Is that what you got to do next? Correct. What we're going to do is we're going to tighten it up with our wrenches again. You need to have both of them lined up, both the hex heads lined up, so the lock will slide up. I'm going to be able to get this. Sometimes you just have to play with it a little bit to get everything to, uh, to slip into position, it looks like. Yeah, what you need to do is you need to have the sides straight. Oh, okay. So this will slide back up. Okay. And how much tension do you put on that hex head there? Just nice and firm? Yep, nice and snug. And then what we'll do is we'll take just a little bit of blue Loctite. Okay. We'll set that on. Uh, we'll just put a little bit in between the turnbuckle and the lock nut, just as a precautionary. So then we'll uh, reinstall the inspection plate. Now one of the uh, a couple things with these, of course, we're using stainless steel on aluminum, so we take some extra steps to isolate the tooth to eliminate corrosion. So uh, we have small isolators. Okay. That keep the aluminum, that keep the stainless steel head of the screw away from the aluminum. That's the, the little black thing there is what you call the isolator, right? Correct. And they come on each, they come on each screw, and you uh, you just want to make sure you don't lose those. They should stay on. Now, uh, is there a particular way that you put those isolators on on the screw itself, or uh, or do they just are they flat and they just slip on, or they'll just slide on? Okay. And then, of course, we want to take just a little bit of a, we use a product called Tef Gel or Tough Gel. 
Okay. And it's just another isolator. Make sure you put a little bit of that on. And now you're talking about isolator. Uh, that is to help in the corrosion aspect of things, right? Correct, correct. Anytime you have stainless steel against aluminum, the, uh, you have a corrosion issue, so you need to isolate the two uh, different metals. I see. So this is really a pretty important step right here. It is. We use it on, anytime we have a uh, stainless steel fastener on, on our door, we always use it. Well, I'm pretty much a non-mechanic, so I think I could even get in and make an adjustment on this door. We've, we've tried to make it as simple as possible. <laughs> there you go. Well, that should be about it for that. And if you look, the uh, all the, the extra play in the handles all gone. All right. Success. Excellent. <laughs>